Madness. I'm your host, John Harris. And on this week's show, we have a Duran Duran special for you. As you can see, we got a crowd going absolutely nuts for the record signing that happened uh, today, April 6th. Uh, and uh, we're just here covering the event, talking to some of the fans. Uh, we're going to talk to John Taylor a little while later on. And we got some interesting bits, including some of the new videos uh, off of the new album, Thank You. So uh, why don't we get to our first piece? And it goes a little something like this. John Harris here from Music Madness, and we're standing out here in front of Sam Goody, and it's completely mobbed, as you can see, and uh, standing here with one of the, the many devoted fans online, and so what are you going to ask Duran Duran today? Actually, I'm going to give Simon my resume, because I'm an actress, <laughs> and I'm going to tell him that he influenced my life, I guess. I love Duran Duran. They're great. How long have you been a fan? Since Planet Earth, since 82. 82. 80. It was 81. 81. 81, 82. It depends on like when you bought it. Right. Is this the first time you met them? First time ever. What do you think of the new stuff? I love it. It's a great album. It's really great. I love it a lot. Especially Thank You. I thought it was really good. Robert Plant should be proud. <laughs> <laughs> he is from what I've been heard. Uh, so that's it for right now. Let's uh, get back to some more interesting stuff right here on Music Madness. John, how's it going so far? So far, so good. Sure. 
you my thesis instructor. I have parts of school design. Way of how I practice. That was fun. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks for all the love. Yeah, I just told them they're phenomenal. I mean, look at them. They really, truly are. It's, it's, I'm amazed. I have a lot of respect for them. How does that make you feel? I know I'm not
Hi, in regards to white lines, uh, that was the harder, it's like a harder edge direction with the video and all. I was just wondering, uh, was that the intentional direction in regards to the new album? Yes. Uh, we always tried lots of different directions, you know. I mean, we're not, you know, we're never like all agreed on like one particular flavor that we wanted. You know, we, 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 we like to do different things, you know. Was there any uh, songs off of the new album that you feel were, uh, that, that didn't make actually the final cut of the album that you wish it did? Well, Diamond Dogs, those Diamond Dogs was on the record, that win at the last minute. John Lennon's How We Did, and that didn't make it. Anyway, i got to go to work. Okay, see. Right Thank you. John Harris here from Music Madness, and we're about to see Duran Duran on the roof saying goodbye to all of the fans. And it's coming up right here. Oh, it's great. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. I just wish we would stay here for a bit longer, you know? Thanks a lot. Hi, John Harris, back again with some more Music Madness. And we're standing here next to one of the many excited, overwhelmed fans. And you are? Laura Magliola. Hi. And uh, what did you have uh, the boy sign today? I had uh, Nick Rhodes sign my interference book. Beautiful. Like to me. And then John Taylor, he did not like this uh, picture. He put, ouch. <laughs> you know how very vain he is. And then Simon, I love this picture. It's one of my favorites. How long have you been a fan? For a very long time, about 15 years. And uh, is this the first time you met them? Yes. I've been planning on this all my life. <laughs> so a dream come true in a way? Or? Yes, it is. It's just overwhelming. I'm just, it's ecstatic. What do you think of the new album? I love the new album. It's beautiful and it's better than the, the original. Better than the original artists. What was it like uh, seeing Duran Duran up from the roof over there just uh, earlier? 
I've been waiting for it for 11 years. 11 years? Good to see them, yeah. And what was your impression? My impression? Uh, it was great. I mean, it was like one of the best experiences of my life. We saw them from the rooftop, and they are, I've been in them for years. She's been in them since they were first around. They're the greatest band. We think they're the best, and they're the only band that takes the time out to express the issues that really matter, and that's important. They're wholesome, they're down to earth, and if you guys see this, we love you. Nick, you're God. <laughs> John Harris here for Music Madness. I uh, just wanted to let you know that uh, we have a bit of a contest going on in conjunction with this Duran Duran special this week. If you can name me the new working title of Duran Duran's new LP, you can get one of these. It's Duran Duran's uh, promo copy. It's a limited edition promo copy of the various mixes of White Lines. I believe it's three all together. And uh, so if you write in to our post office box and tell us the name once again of the working title of Duran Duran's new album that's coming up soon, um, you can get a free copy. We only got about nine of them or so, so first, first come, first serve. Anyway, uh, the post, uh, the, our address is Music Madness, and the P.O. Box is 6393, and it's New York, New York, 10128-0004. Once again, Music Madness, P.O. Box 6393, New York, New York, 10128-0004. Write in, we'd like to hear any of your comments about the show, what you thought of it, and all you people who are at the Duran show, uh, at the Duran sign-in, <laughs> uh, you know, feel free to write in, we'd love to hear your comments about the show. Anyway, I'm sitting right here uh, next to my publicist and make a Duran fan, Terry Cooney. Hello. And uh, Terry's got something here she wants to show, it's uh, a bit of a rare piece for you Duran collectors out there who might be interested. Terry, why don't you tell us about this thing you're holding here? This I have here is the UK tour program from December 1981. This is an extremely rare item and I'm going to show you a few bits in it here. You've got your basic tour dates here, your basic band shot, more band shots here, a little personal greeting from the band, and then little more personal greetings. Oh, Little. isn't that Andy Warhol there? It's like, in fact, yes, it is. It's Andy. Hey, you know what, Nick? What? I've had this rather odd feeling lately. Have you, have you ever had the feeling that, that somebody was following you around? No. I don't know. It's funny because... I know, there feels I, to be some sort of distance between yeah. us nowadays. Some kind of third presence. Yeah? Do you believe in ghosts? No, not, not very often. Then we have basic little road shots here of the On the Road with Duran Duran. Little personal bios. We have Roger and Nick. Quite dated, but interesting nonetheless. Interesting. Again, you're a little right into your little get your Duran Duran merchandise here. I guess that still goes. And then your... Top of the Pops, yeah. Top of the Pops appearance, 1981. Wicked. And uh, then you have your little... 1991? 1981, actually. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself here. And then you've got your production credits from the past, including a mention of Kevin Godley and Lol Cream, their video directors. And that basically sums it up. And then you have your little discography in the back. This is an early discography. Terry, let me ask you, what would you, uh, as, as a Duran fan, what would you think the, uh, something like this would go for at this point? I would definitely probably estimate at least about $100 because just for the rarity of it and it's no longer available, I mean, if you're lucky to get a copy, I give you, I wish you luck in your quest because it really <laughs> is, I re it, it's really worth it for any serious Duran fan, either past or present to own because it is a piece of history. Hope you enjoy our Duran Duran special this week. And coming up next is something I'm very proud to be able to present on the show, and that is a special preview of the upcoming vid video by Duran Duran. It's the new one called Perfect Day. So we're just going to show uh, little bits and pieces of this one, and it's uh, thanks to uh, Gina Gar over at Capitol uh, to provide this one. And so it'll be probably actually one of the first places uh, you'll see portions of the new video for Perfect Day. So why don't we go to it, and we'll see you back with more music madness.
just a perfect day. Drink sangria in the bar. Then later, when it gets dark, we go home. Just a perfect day. Feed animals in the zoo. Then later, a movie too. And then home. You just keep me hanging on. You just keep me hanging on. Just a perfect day. Problems all left alone. Weekenders on our own. John Harris here, just wanting to say thank you to Capitol Records for providing us with videos uh, off of the new LP. Thank you, and also that special preview. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did shooting it all. And uh, we had a great time, and hope you did with uh, this episode. Want to say a special shout out to all of the people who helped out uh, back on April, what was it, April 6th, Rich? Uh, yes, 6th. April 6th, right, okay. <laughs> the record signing down at Sam Goody, so it's all watching. Thanks again. And uh, you can watch Music Madness every week right here at 10.30 p.m. on Thursday nights on Channel 17. And for me, John Harris, and uh, my cameraman, Richard Dema, and uh, <laughs> uh, Dean Sirwa, my stylist, and also... Uh, ter uh, Terry Cooney, who's my publicist. Thanks a lot for watching this week, and we'll catch you next time on Music Madness. Hi, this is Nick Rose, and whenever I'm in New York, I like to watch Music Madness, believe it or not. Okay. Well done, Nick.